Hey everyone. So when I was working on the next video, there was a feature that I discovered wasn't in the original plan. It didn't really fit in with the next video, but it was too cool to leave out. So it's getting its own video. Check it out. So here we have our feature from last time working like before. And what if we want to add a tag that's not there? Let's say we want our video about Vue.js. There are no options available, but oh look, we can add this now. And in this video, we're going to figure out how to do that. Oh, and yes, if you reload, it's still there. And if you go to a different video, now it's an option. So the core of this feature comes from the combo box component. So the Vutify docs say the combo box is a component that is a V autocomplete that allows the users to enter values that do not exist within the provided items. The core of this change, we just switch this out with V combo box. And that's all we're going to need to do with our UI. The rest of it is working with our data. And there is quite a bit to do there. So let's go ahead and put a debugger here to see what data we're getting in the new tags. So we'll add, say, Vuex here. All right, and in our new tags, we have four objects and then one string. So we're going to be getting these back in terms of strings. And so that means we can know that it's a custom tag if it's a string. What we can do is we can take these new tags and we will filter them and if the type of the tag is equal to string, then that means it is a uh, created tag. And that's going to be an array. And can actually do this as a find to make it a singular created tag. And then if created tag, then we're going to do something different than what we've done here. So all this will go in the else block. And here we will, uh, so at the end, we will be calling this uh, with something else here. But before we do the connection, we have to actually create the tag. And so we'll have to dispatch something to the store and we'll make a create tag action. And we'll just send in the tag name, which will be the created tag. And we'll have that return. Uh, we'll just have it overwrite created tag. Now, we'll probably be calling out to the server. So we're going to want to have this async. So we'll need this entire set to be async. And yes, you can do that. All right, now let's make that create tag. So we will go and create tag. And we'll be getting a name as the argument. And then we will be committing something. And what we'll want to commit is something with an ID. So we're going to need to call out to the server to get that ID. We'll call out to the API and we'll send a post to slash tags. And I've already created something on the server, an endpoint that will take a name and it will return a tag with the name and the ID. So we'll let the response equal to await that. And let's go ahead and use our debugger to see what the response is there. All right, we'll try to add Vuex again. All right, so our response, we'll need to call dot data and then dot data again, and then we can get the dot attributes, which is just the name. So we will call our uh, created tag equal to response 
dot data dot data dot attributes. And we'll go ahead and put the ID on there. Actually, we don't have to do that. We can do that. All right, so we have a tag with a name and an ID. We can send that in to our commit. And then we can create that mutation. And all we'll have to do here is take our list of tags on the state and concat the new tag. So let's give this a try. We will add a Vuex tag, and it didn't do quite what we wanted. So the issue here is we're not calling this connect tag to video correctly because we're not getting this created tag back because we're not returning anything from create tag. So we will return the created tag, and now it should work. Awesome. But you'll notice that Vuex has disappeared. Why is that? Uh, we created it correctly last time. It just didn't attach to our video. And if we go to our slash tags API, then we'll see that Vuex is on there. It is a working tag. As a matter of fact, there are two of them. So the reason that we're not getting these two tags back is because uh, the way that we're loading our videos. So in our videos API call, we have all our videos, and then we have a bunch of tags in included, but those tags are only the ones that are connected with videos. So if we remove, say, 2016 from all the videos, then we'll no longer be able to find it in this combo box. And that is exactly what happened with Vuex. So what we're going to need to do is change how we're loading the tags, at least on this page. So what we're going to do is we're going to call our created hook in our admin video show. And previously for this stuff, we'd done mounted because I saw it somewhere, but I think create is actually the better hook to use because it gets run earlier. And for loading stuff, running it earlier is better. And so here we're going to get our store and dispatch something. We'll call it load all tags. All right, and let's go ahead and create that. So this is probably gonna need to be async load all tags. And we'll take in a commit, and I think that's all the input we'll need. And let's actually move this uh, so it is closer to the load videos so that uh, we can look and copy off of some of this. So you notice we have set tags and we're gonna need to be copying a lot of this code. So first let's get our response. And we'll get it from tags this time instead of videos. And so that'll get us the tags directly. So our tags will be on response.data.data. Now we do still need to put the videos from the t.relationships into the video IDs. So we will copy this loop and we'll also copy this. And uh, so we could leave it like this or we could create a load tags action and it'll take in a list of tags and we put this in here. We uh, have to get our dispatch from here and then we will call dispatch load tags with all the tags that we got from the API. And that means we can go ahead and 
do the same for load videos as well. Oops, silly autocorrect. Although that shows that we need to get it from here. All right. Now, if you look here, there is an error. So let's check that out. We are sending this in in the wrong way. So we can change one of them. We'll go ahead and change it to be like that. We could have changed this so it was like that instead. But I'm starting to like this style of giving arguments. All right. So now stuff is working. Kind of. I think because of the hot loading, we have to physically reload this in order for the created hook to run. Nope, it's still okay. So the issue here appears to be that, uh, so tags is being loaded before the videos. And what that means is we are in load all tags, we are setting them correctly. And then when load videos gets called, we are overwriting those. So it's set incorrectly. And there is a fix to this. So we are going to undo a little bit of our work. So we will no longer call load tags from load videos. And instead of having a separate thing, we'll just paste this in to load all tags. That means we can remove this line as well, as well as this. And then in our app.view, after we dispatch load videos, we're going to dispatch load all tags. All right, so now it's actually working. So let's review what we did. We changed our autocomplete to a combo box and that lets us get a new uh, item in our set of video tags. So it can be a string and that string is gonna be a newly created tag. So if we get an item in the array of type string, then we will go and we will call out, we will dispatch to create tag in the store. Create tag will post to slash tags to create a new tag. That'll get us a response that has an ID, unlike the just string we were having before for the name. And then we can call a mutation with that tag now that it has an ID. And so that create tag mutation is simple. It's just concatenating it on to the list of tags. For committing the mutation, then we'll return that created tag and we will dispatch connect tag to video using that newly created tag. At that point, we noticed that our unused tags were not loading. So we changed how we loaded our data. So first, and this is unrelated, but we changed the hook from mounted to created. That just helps things load a little bit smoother since it's run earlier. And we also added a dispatch to load all things. And we took the tag loading uh, responsibilities away from load videos and put them into load all tags, which calls out to slash tags. So that'll get all the tags, not just the ones that are related to the videos we found. And then it will set those into the store state. And all of that is how we are now able to create new tags with ease.